click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, in the previous lecture we have understood that is what is pH and what is the pH scale and uh, now in this chapter basically uh, in this topic we are going to discuss about basically what is basically buffer solution and what are the types of buffer solution. So now let us understand what is buffer solution and its types. <music> So now let us understand that is what is buffer solution and what are the types. So let us understand it first that is if you are talking about that is buffer solution then a solution which resists the drastic changes in pH upon addition of a small amount of either an acid or base is known as a buffer solution. So let me elaborate this thing. Suppose if we have a solution of HCl and uh, that has a particular pH value and suppose in that case suppose if we are adding a particular amount of a base even though if a small quantity of base or strong base like NaOH obviously we could see that the pH of that HCl solution obviously it will change and it will tend towards the neutrality that is pH till pH 7. So in this case basically uh, a change can be observed even though if we are adding a, uh, a small amount of base in it obviously we could see there is a drastic change in the pH value and suppose if that is the same HCl solution that we have and suppose if we are adding a uh, highly concentrated acid like suppose HCl also again so in this case also basically we could see that the pH value will also change it will move towards a lesser pH value so that is the reason that we could see that uh, a change can be observed if we add a particular acidic solution or if you add a particular basic solution in a particular solution which could be already an acid or which could already be a base so in this case basically a change can be observed a change in the pH can be observed but suppose if we are prepared a certain solution of which we have a prevention that it should not be changing its value or pH value obviously we should add certain kind of component which would resist the change in pH of the solution and that kind of solutions are basically known as buffer solutions so basically buffer solutions are those solutions even though if you add a small amount of acid or even though if you add a small amount of base the pH won't change drastically and that is how basically the pH of that particular solution would be maintained and that is what basically the buffer solution is so as I have said earlier also that uh, even though adding a uh, an acid or even though adding a base the pH of the solution that could be acidic or that could be basic also that would be prevented so that kind of uh, a solution are basically known as buffer solution and that is what we are going to talk about is we are going to talk about the types of buffer solution so now let us understand the types of buffer solution so basically there are two types uh, of buffer solution the one which is uh, known as uh, acidic buffer solution and the one which is known as basic buffer solution so let me elaborate about the acidic buffer solution first so talking about acidic buffer solution obviously uh, it is the one which is basically acidic in nature and that is what uh, even though if you add a strong uh, acid or even though if you add a small amount of uh, base obviously the pH value of this won't change. So let me discuss about that how it has been prepared. So let me uh, discuss about the acidic buffer solution first. So it is nothing but it is a combination of a weak acid. along with that of that is a soluble salt of weak acid so this is what uh, the acidic buffer solution is and suppose let me give an example in this case suppose uh, if we have uh, an example where we could discuss about a weak acid and that is what we know it is basically acetic acid so acetic acid is a weak acid and suppose if we are talking about a soluble salt of its uh, weak acid that is suppose if we are talking about a soluble salt of that is acetic acid it is nothing but sodium acetate so so this is an example of uh, that is a soluble salt of the acetic acid so in this case basically this two uh, that is acid as well as soluble ionic uh, soluble salt of uh, weak acid they both combinedly uh, forms a acidic buffer solution and in this case so as to maintain an acidic buffer solution it has been noted that the both of the proportion should be the same and or we could say the concentration should be the same and then only basically an acidic buffer solution is being prepared and let me discuss about uh, the more important thing also that even though if we add a small amount of acid and base in this kind of uh, solution where we have that is acidic acid along with that equiproportion of that is a uh, sodium acetate the pH won't change drastically so this was one of the example of one of the type of buffer solution that we have discussed here and now let us talk about the next type that is basic buffer solution 
so the next is a uh, basic buffer solution and let me discuss about that uh, uh, which kind of chemicals does it uh, combine so as to form a basic buffer solution so it is uh, somewhere it is like uh, the acidic buffer solution only where we have taken that is a weak acid along with that of soluble salt of the weak acid so in this case also we are going to take uh, that is weak base instead of a weak acid so we have to take a weak base along with that of soluble salt of the weak base and that too in equal proportion so let me discuss about the example here first and uh, so that it would be very much easy to, so as to understand that which one is acid and which one is basic buffer solution and uh, talking about uh, the mechanism and how does it works uh, to resist the change in pH this is what we uh, can discuss in the next topic that is in the mechanism of buffer solution so so well uh, let me talk about uh, the basic thing first here so suppose if we take a uh, a weak base like uh, NH4OH that is a weak base that we know and uh, suppose if we are talking about a soluble salt of a weak base and suppose in this case suppose I am uh, taking an example where uh, I am discussing about uh, that is NH4Cl so these are two are the examples uh, or these two are the chemicals that we have to take in an equal proportion so as to form a basic buffer solution and uh, let me discuss about uh, that is a uh, NH4OH this is a weak base and that is the reason that it won't dissociate completely and uh, talking about that is NH4Cl this is a salt and this is a salt which consists of NH4 which is present over here and that is how basically it is known as soluble salt of a weak uh, base and whenever they are combined in an equal proportion they form uh, that is a basic buffer solution so let me uh, give an uh, a short uh, synopsis that what we have did in this topic basically we have uh, in terms of that is a acidic buffer solution so we have uh, take a weak uh, acid that was basically CH3COOH since it is a weak acid obviously it won't dissociate completely and it will partially it will basically be associated into the sides while talking about the another one that is suppose if we discuss about uh, the salt soluble salt of the acetic acid it was found to be that is sodium acetate and this would completely dissociate into that is an acetate ion along with that of Na plus ion so in this case basically this kind of combination of a weak acid and a uh, soluble salt of a weak acid it basically it helps in basically in preventing the change in pH so here we have discussed about uh, the acidic buffer solution and suppose if we are talking about uh, that is basic buffer solution so it is also somewhere uh, that is uh, similar to understand that is suppose if we have taken that is NH4OH and obviously it is a very weak base so therefore it won't dissociate completely and the dissociation would be partial and that's the reason that we have uh, denoted in uh, this equilibrium uh, uh, sign and uh, suppose if we have taken that is NH4Cl which is basically a salt obviously a salt they are very much uh, soluble in water and obviously they will dissociate completely so in this case basically the ions that are being produced is ammonium ion along with that of Cl minus so this kind of combination where we could see in a particular solution obviously that would prevent uh, the change in pH and how it will be discussed in the next lecture that is in the mechanism of the buffer solution so so this was it and that is what I want to talk about that is uh, what is buffer solution and what are the types of buffer solution so that's it and uh, thank you friends for watching this video I hope you have understood this video very clearly and I hope you will share this video with your friends and yes don't forget to subscribe to channel thank you so much